Hello, everyone, and welcome to the big show. This is Investing and Trading Live. As always, I am your host, Josh Lilquist. Today, we're going to do a stock market update. We will see that interest rates remain the same. Jerome Powell says we are not going to change interest rates remaining at 5.5%, but hinting at a change in the next meeting. So we'll do a quick market update, see if there's any reaction to that. As always, uh, there is risk in trading and investing. You can and will lose money at one point in your life. This is strictly for entertainment purposes only, mainly mine. <laughs> but hopefully you find it entertaining as well. So here we go. Let's do our stock market update. We will start with the, uh, well, you know what? Let's start with our major markets. We'll go with the S&P 500 first. And we're going to look at the SPY just because that's a tradable instrument. People have heard about it most likely. Well, not most likely, but I'm hoping, hoping they did. So that is uh, your SPY. Some people call it the spider. All right. Currently closed at 550.81, up about a percent, 1.63% on the day. It was about $8. So we've seen some consolidation and a drop in the market over the last, since the highs of the 16th of July. And I had a gap up today and ending the day. Um, Higher than it opened, so we did have a positive day on the S&P 500. No real supplier demand to speak of. Maybe a... We do have a supply zone that on a four-hour chart it could be dropping from. I kind of like that zone, but since we are technically in, a, in an uptrend, I wouldn't short it there. So, But then again, it is there. We could probably look at it on a smaller time frame, but I... You know, just with this much strength in the market, I wouldn't be shorting it exactly unless I had something that uh, gave me more indication that it was going to drop. So that's your S&P 500, $550.81, currently closed. The Dow Jones Industrial Average, same story. We did have a positive reaction today after the news, but closing the day on uh, the last four hours of the day, pretty weak. So that being said... Did the interest rate uh, remain in the same? Did that make investors, did that scare them a little bit? Who knows? It's all about supply and demand anyway, but you do get reactions about with news. So that's your, your diamonds, your Dow Jones, which is at $408.49. It still was up 0.27% of the day. The Qs, the NASDAQ, that was your biggest gainer of the day for the major markets, up 2.96%, gaps up. And very strong after a lackluster last two weeks. Last two weeks down, did drop about 9%. It's interesting, you know, a few years back, 9% drop in the market over two weeks was like the end of the world. It was huge. It was huge, as some people would say. But, uh, you know, the market just shrugs it off and shows a two and a two, almost 3% gain today, about 13 bucks. 471.07. At the at the close, IWM, which is your Russell, uh, currently closed at two twenty three eighty six, up about 058 percent of the day. This one here has just really been, you know, it did see a, a spike up in the middle beginning of July, and now consolidating between the two twenty eight down to two two fifteen mark over the last two weeks or so. So that's your major markets. Now let's go look at some other ETFs. Any major ones that. Moved oil was up four percent today. A big, big spike in oil today. Let's see if there's any news on that. Crude oil jumps four point three percent on rising geopolitical risk following assassination of Hamas leader. Oh, I heard about that this morning. So there you go. Oil up big. Uh, Seventy-seven dollars. Well, I'm looking at U.S. oil right now. We can look at the the crude oil futures contract, but U.S. oil seventy seven dollars and seventy four cents. Crude oil, it's up again on this trading session. Gaps up after it closed, and it was a big jump from actually a, a big big jump after about two almost a whole month of some downward action. The whole month actually down about 11% and then spikes up the last couple of days here. So actually last two days now. So that's your crude oil price, gold and silver gold back up to the 2,450 mark. Currently open right now, actually $2,451 and 25 cents. So 
gold and jumping back up near all time highs again. Same with silver, $29.09 up on the day, last couple days actually, and but really had some sideways action over the last few weeks here. So that's your gold and silver market. Crypto, Bitcoin down to 64725 after a nice spike up to the upside, hitting 70000 again after it got down below 54000 We haven't talked about Ethereum for a while, 3200 3231 and we have not talked about HNT and mobile, but HNT up about 60% since in, in the last month was up. 93 percent so that's a good jump with with hnt mobile still struggling after that jump up to in, in the beginning of july back down near those lows so kind of the, the summer doldrums with that u.s dollar still has the bullish bias and just kind of in no man's land but then again we got some shorting opportunities with euro dollar dollar yen aussie dollar some long opportunities with the New Zealand yen and the Aussie yen. I want to say we are currently short the pound dollar. No, not the pound dollar. Euro dollar right now. No. Currently long. Sorry, currently long. The No, I'm not right there. I don't have the account open, so we won't even look at. So there we go. We don't have any positions to look at right there in the, in the forex market. So that was the, the spot forex market. Looking at some stocks, Nvidia up twelve percent today. So a big jump with Nvidia today, and let's see the news on that. Nvidia CEO Jen Sun Hong sells twenty four two hundred and forty thousand shares. Interesting. Okay. Tesla was up four point two. Meta up 2.5. So NVIDIA is at $117.02. Tesla, $232.07. And what was the other one I looked at? Meta, formerly known as Facebook, $474.83. And rounding out your stocks. Mm -hmm. A lot of these stocks are getting pretty good to the upside. Other than uh, American Airlines popping right off our demand zone that we talked about in the uh, ten dollar mark, nice nice work there, and Delta still not still nearing that. As a matter of fact, we have some options we got to look at here over the next couple of days, so we'll look at that tomorrow. So just a quick market update for y'all. As I said in the beginning, interest rates remain unchanged, five and a half percent, and so there was some talk that they they might do some. Adjusting in September, we'll see. They they always they talk a big game, but never walk a big walk. So that, my friends, is your stock market update for the day. It's last day of the month, the thirty first of July. We have August coming tomorrow. Happy trading tomorrow, as always. Collect your profits when they're given to you, and protect your losses, keeping them small. Until next time, retire young, my friends. <laughs>